Hello dear people! In this video I'm going to focus on self-love and self-care and how really important it is to spend some time with ourselves. It is really crucial to connect with um, who we are, connect with our divine nature, connect with our hearts and learn how to express through that. So how can we actually make that connection? By making the choice to be silent and observe. Observe what we have accumulated over the years uh, in our bodies, in our minds, and to pay attention to what comes to the surface, to what manifests. To pay attention to the thoughts, to pay attention to the emotions, the sensations, the feelings, and really observe them without attachment. Just notice without identifying, without judgment, without craving or clinging, just observing. It is important because under all these layers, there is something very powerful that is hidden inside of you. And it is in each one of us. And once we connect with that light, our life changes. Our life changes for our best. And then, coming from that place, we can affect the world in a very positive way. So if you really want to see the change in the world, start that with yourself. Discover who you are. Discover what your true divine nature is, and then you will be able to see all of that that you store inside of you in others. And it will come more naturally to you to be forgiving and understanding and compassionate. So the way I spend time by myself is I meditate for a few hours every single day. Of course, you don't have to meditate that long. This is my personal choice. You can spend just a few minutes sitting quietly. You may close your eyes and just notice. Notice what you, uh, what, what manifests without trying to suppress or avoid, just be there. This is one way. Another way is to pay attention to your eating habits. What do you, what do you eat? What, uh, how do you treat your body? And again, here I'm not talking about, um, making, um, quick changes in your diet. I'm just inviting you to start observing how you treat your body, what you eat. And over time, you will notice that your body is actually giving you signs what is good, what is not good for yourself. And then you can start making these small changes. I have tried in my life many different diets and um, none of them really worked. And at some point I decided just to pay attention to my body, to listen to my body's needs and not to eat um, food that is just my body's telling me not to consume. So um, I just am inviting you to be mindful of your choices. Because how you treat your body, it affects also the mind. So you really want to take a good care of this body. This is your temple. In order for that temple to be healthy and happy, we have to provide a good environment. We have to be caring and loving. And then the body will be able to heal it from, its, from within. But if we um, 
don't pay attention to these signs, then we are overloading the body with things that it doesn't really serve the body, with things that they don't really serve the body, and as a result, it starts reacting. And we get sick, and this is just another call, another invitation from the body to make a change. So this is your personal choice. I'm just sharing, inviting you to pay attention and to make some small changes so that you're aligned, aligned with your body, aligned with your heart, aligned with your true nature. Also pay attention to your thoughts. It's very important. What do you think about yourself? Because how you look at yourself will affect also what others think about you. Because we are beings that are communicating on different levels. If I want to say something, I don't really need to use words. Just the moment I think about it, somebody else will get that message on an energetic level. I would like to share one experience. Um, about a week ago, I met with two dear friends and we were sitting at one table and one of them said something. A thought ran through my mind and I didn't share what I thought. And then the friend who was sitting right next to me as if she read my mind, she read my thought and she said exactly what I thought. And we closed the cycle. It was interesting how um, we were able to really communicate and express without saying much. And just the, just the moment I thought about it and it manifested through another person's mouth as words. So how we look at ourselves really impacts how others will treat us. Because if I am loving and caring with myself and I respect who I am as a person and this is the energy that I'm sending out, this is the message that the other people will get. And they will respond in the same way. If I am doubting something about myself, they will feel it and they will start seeing things about me that will make me feel even worse. And it's not about the other person. It's really important to understand that it's, this journey is about really connecting with ourselves, with our nature. And take responsibility for what we say, think, and um, how we act. When we express love, when we um, feel love, that's what others will also feel and they will be able to share and they will be willing to change from within. So let's make this conscious choice to pay attention to our thoughts, what we think about ourselves and eventually, slowly, over time, you will notice change in these thought patterns. They will change. Because your ego will loosen its power over time. When uh, um, you start expressing gratitude, when we focus on the positive things, everything starts shifting in your brain. And you start looking at yourself, at the world around, but you have to make that choice. Your world will not change from outside, it will change from within. You are a powerful creator and you create the reality for yourself. So if you're not feeling good about something, it's not because someone else did something. It's something within you that you're suppressing that you don't want to pay attention to. And as a result, it manifests in a certain form. So paying attention to your diet, to your thoughts, your attitude towards yourself, how you respond to others. When someone is aggressive, what is your attitude? 
Do you step back and create a space to connect with yourself and respond from a place of love and care? Or you respond right away and um, create even more of the same? Again, that's your choice. Do you want to treat violence with kindness, love, compassion, and understanding? Or you wish to treat it the same way? The choice is yours. It's also important to pay attention to our body and not only in terms of eating habits, but also um, if we move, if we exercise enough, because the body needs, needs this kind of care as well. So if you feel like uh, hiking, go ahead and spend some time in nature, connect with nature. Nature is a very powerful way to recharge. If you feel like doing yoga, find some time and practice yoga. You don't have any excuses. Just listen to your body and do what is best for you. Find some time for yourself. And now this is such a great time to practice self-love, self-care. Nobody from outside can make you feel good about yourself if there is insight, pain, negativity. You have to learn how to release it. And that's the key. Self-love, self-care. It, paying attention to your diet. Movement is crucial. How you respond when people say something. Because the energy you send out comes back to you. Mindfulness. Be mindful. Whatever you do, practice mindfulness. While you're taking a shower, be mindful. How do you feel? When you speak, when you communicate, notice. How do you feel? When you eat, how do you feel? Just stay connected with yourself. Spend some time with your own heart and say to your heart, I love you. I love you, I accept you, I forgive you. I love you, I accept you, I forgive you. And notice, your heart will respond. Just be patient. Keep saying to your heart, I love you. And you will, in, you will um, activate this energy within. And it will create a peaceful, loving world inside that cannot be really compared to anything that is outside. Because everything that comes from outside is temporary. What is inside is very powerful. And the truth is there. The treasure is there. It's inside. Learning how to forgive ourselves. This is so, so, so important. When I make a mistake, do I make the choice to move forward and forgive and smile or judge myself and stay in that moment, which is already gone and can be changed? By learning how to forgive ourselves, it will be much easier to forgive others. Because by understanding that we are all human beings and we're here to learn, evolve, expand, we connect more and more with our heart and then we start really speaking from the heart and be more understanding and accepting. Understanding that others are also on their path and they're moving at their own pace and it will take as long as it's needed for them to change. We can't change anybody but ourselves. So let's take responsibility 
and start treating ourselves with love and care. And then those around you, they will observe you with curiosity and they may eventually, may and will eventually make that change for themselves. So let's make that mindful choice to respond from our hearts, to stay connected with our hearts, and to be the loving, compassionate beings who we truly are. Because love and forgiveness will transform our life and will heal us from within. Choose love, be love. Namaste.